Hey there. Welcome back to our channel. Before we dive into today's super exciting topic, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss out on our amazing content. In today's video, we'll be talking about emotional intelligence, or EQ, and we'll share with you 10 powerful ways to boost your EQ. These steps will provide a solid foundation for you to build upon, improving your relationships, communication, and overall life satisfaction. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Before we jump right into boosting emotional intelligence let's understand what is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is one's ability to identify, manage, and express their own emotions as well as recognize and understand the emotions of others. It's also important to note that it's not just about feelings, it involves knowing how your feelings are connected to your thoughts and actions. As you work on this, you'll notice, your relationships will become stronger, your communication will be more effective, and you'll experience greater emotional balance and well-being. Now that we understand what emotional intelligence is, it's time to know different ways to boost it. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Self-awareness. The cornerstone of emotional intelligence is self-awareness, and that's where our journey begins. Developing self-awareness means recognizing and understanding your emotions as they arise. To kick off this process, let's start with a fun and insightful exercise, for an entire week, carry a small notebook or use a note-taking app on your phone to jot down your emotions at different times throughout the day. As you go through this exercise, pay close attention to your thoughts and feelings, and make a note of what triggers specific emotions in you. Maybe it's a conversation with a colleague, the morning traffic, or a certain type of food. The goal is to identify and understand your emotional patterns, which will empower you to manage your emotions more effectively. But don't stop there. Reflect on these patterns at the end of each day, and ask yourself some questions. Are there any emotions that come up more often than others? How do these emotions impact your decisions and interactions? By answering these questions, you'll gain valuable insights into your emotional landscape and be better equipped to navigate it. Number 2. Empathy. The second essential component of EQ is empathy, the ability to understand and share the emotions of others. As you become more self-aware, it's time to extend this awareness outward and develop empathy. Here's an enjoyable way to practice empathy, watch a movie, read a book, or engage in any activity that involves understanding and empathizing with different characters. The more diverse the character's emotions, the better. As you immerse yourself in these fictional scenarios, Put yourself in the shoes of each character and try to genuinely feel what they feel. Make a habit of discussing these characters and their emotions with friends or family members. Share your thoughts on why the characters feel the way they do and how their emotions impact their actions. This exercise will not only help you appreciate other people's emotions, but it will also strengthen your ability to communicate empathetically. 3. Self-Regulation the third key to boosting your EQ is self-regulation. Now that you're more aware of your emotions and those of others, the next step is learning how to manage your emotional responses effectively. One simple, yet powerful, technique for self-regulation is deep breathing. It may sound basic, but trust me, it works wonders. Whenever you feel overwhelmed or emotionally charged, stop whatever you're doing, and take a few deep breaths. Inhale deeply, filling your lungs completely, and then exhale slowly, releasing the tension in your body. Repeat this process several times until you feel calmer and more centered. By taking these deep breaths, you're providing your mind with the space it needs to process your emotions and respond thoughtfully, rather than reacting impulsively. Over time, you'll find that this simple practice has a profound impact on your ability to manage your emotions, make better decisions, and strengthen your relationships. Number 4. Active Listening Alright, let's move on to step 4, active listening. To boost your emotional intelligence, it's crucial to become an attentive listener. Active listening means fully focusing on the person you're communicating with, rather than being preoccupied with your own thoughts or distractions. To become an active listener, first, clear your mind and give your undivided attention to the speaker. Maintain eye contact and use nonverbal cues, like nodding or smiling, to show that you're engaged. Put away any distractions, like your phone, so you can genuinely concentrate on what's being said. Next, focus on understanding the speaker's emotions and underlying message, rather than merely processing their words. 
Ask open-ended questions to encourage them to share more, and paraphrase what they've said to demonstrate your understanding. Remember, active listening isn't about formulating your response while the other person is speaking, it's about truly hearing and empathizing with their emotions and perspective. By practicing active listening, you'll strengthen your emotional connections with others, resolve conflicts more effectively, and improve your overall communication skills. As a result, your relationships, both personal and professional, will benefit greatly. Number 5. Express Gratitude. The fifth step in our emotional intelligence journey is to express gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful emotion that can transform your outlook on life and improve your emotional well-being. By focusing on the positive aspects of your life and the world around you, you'll cultivate an optimistic mindset, which is vital for emotional balance. To start incorporating gratitude into your daily routine, try this simple yet effective practice. Each day, write down three things you're grateful for. These can be anything, from big achievements to small, everyday moments. The key is to genuinely appreciate and acknowledge the positive experiences in your life. As you consistently practice gratitude, you'll notice a shift in your perspective. You'll become more aware of the good things around you and feel more connected to the people who contribute to your happiness. In turn, this heightened sense of connection will bolster your empathy, enhance your relationships, and ultimately, increase your emotional intelligence. Number 6. Practice Mindfulness. Our sixth step to boost emotional intelligence is practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness is the art of being present in the moment, fully aware of your thoughts, emotions, and sensations without judgment. By developing mindfulness, you'll become more attuned to your emotions, making it easier to manage stress and remain emotionally balanced. There are numerous ways to practice mindfulness, but one of the most effective methods is meditation. Start by dedicating just a few minutes each day to sit quietly, focus on your breath, and gently bring to your mind the idea of being present in the moment. As you inhale, bring your attention to the sensation of the breath entering your body, and as you exhale, follow the sensation of the breath leaving your body. Whenever your mind wanders, gently bring it back to the breath without judgment. Aside from meditation, you can also practice mindfulness throughout the day by engaging in mindful breathing exercises, mindful walking, or simply taking a moment to pause and observe your surroundings. By cultivating mindfulness, you'll become more emotionally resilient and better equipped to handle life's challenges with grace and composure. Number 7. Be open to feedback. Step 7 on our EQ journey is all about being open to feedback. Embracing feedback from others can be a game-changer when it comes to improving your emotional intelligence. Constructive criticism offers valuable insights into your strengths and areas where you can grow. Start by actively seeking feedback from people you trust, such as friends, family, or colleagues. Ask them for their thoughts on how you can better understand and manage your emotions or improve your communication skills. When receiving feedback, keep an open mind and listen without judgment or defensiveness. Remember, the goal is to learn and grow, not to prove yourself right or wrong. To get the most out of the feedback you receive, reflect on the suggestions, and create a plan of action to address the areas where you need improvement. This may involve setting specific goals, seeking additional resources, or even finding a mentor. By embracing feedback and using it as a tool for growth, you'll become more self-aware, empathetic, and emotionally intelligent. Number 8. Find healthy ways to cope with stress. Our eighth step is all about finding healthy ways to cope with stress. Stress is an inevitable part of life, but how you manage it can significantly impact your emotional intelligence. By developing healthy coping strategies, you'll be better equipped to handle stress and maintain emotional balance. To start, identify your current stressors and evaluate your current coping mechanisms. Are they effective and healthy? If not, it's time to explore new ways of managing stress. Some healthy stress relief techniques include Physical activity is a powerful stress buster. Incorporate regular exercise into your routine to help clear your mind and release tension. Journaling Writing down your thoughts and feelings can be a therapeutic way to process and understand your emotions. Nature. Spend time outdoors to reap the calming effects of nature. Go for a walk, hike, or simply sit in a park and enjoy the scenery. Mindfulness. As discussed earlier, practicing mindfulness through meditation, breathing exercises, or yoga can help reduce stress and promote emotional balance. 
experiment with different techniques to find what works best for you. The key is to develop a personalized stress management plan that you can rely on during challenging times. Number 9. Foster Strong Relationships The ninth step to boost your emotional intelligence is fostering strong relationships. People with high EQs often have deep, meaningful connections with others, which contribute to their overall emotional well-being. Begin by nurturing existing relationships with friends, family, and colleagues. Make an effort to spend quality time with your loved ones, be present during conversations, and show genuine interest in their lives. Prioritize empathy in active listening, as we discussed earlier, to build trust and strengthen your connections. In addition to nurturing current relationships, don't be afraid to forge new connections. Engage in activities that promote social interaction, such as joining clubs, volunteering, or attending workshops. As you meet new people, apply your EQ skills to create meaningful and lasting bonds. By fostering strong relationships, you'll not only improve your own emotional intelligence but also create a supportive social network that will contribute to your overall happiness and well-being. Number 10. Cultivate a Growth Mindset The tenth and final step on our journey to boost emotional intelligence is cultivating a growth mindset. Having a growth mindset means believing in your ability to learn, grow, and improve over time, rather than believing that your skills and traits are fixed. Adopting this mindset is crucial for enhancing your EQ, as it promotes self-awareness, motivation, and adaptability. So, how do you cultivate a growth mindset? Let's explore some strategies to help you develop this powerful mindset. Embrace challenges, don't shy away from difficulties. Instead, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. When faced with a challenge, approach it with curiosity and enthusiasm, and use it as a chance to stretch your emotional and cognitive abilities. Focus on the process, not just the outcome, success is often a byproduct of the learning journey, rather than the end goal. When working towards a goal, concentrate on the skills you're developing and the lessons you're learning, rather than solely fixating on the end result. Be resilient in the face of setbacks, Failure is a natural part of life and growth. When you encounter setbacks, don't let them discourage you. Instead, view them as learning experiences, and use them to fuel your motivation to improve and move forward. Emphasize effort over innate talent, acknowledge that it's not just innate abilities that determine success, but also hard work, perseverance, and dedication. Applaud yourself and others for the effort put forth, and recognize that improvement is possible with consistent practice and dedication. Develop a curiosity for learning, maintain a genuine desire to learn and explore new concepts, ideas, and perspectives. Seek and provide constructive feedback, as we discussed earlier, feedback is an essential component of growth. Continuously seek feedback from others, and be open to providing constructive feedback to those around you. This creates a supportive environment where everyone can learn and grow together. Surround yourself with growth-minded individuals, spend time with people who share your passion for personal development and growth. These individuals can serve as mentors, role models, or simply as sources of inspiration and encouragement on your journey to boost your EQ. By adopting a growth mindset, you'll become more adaptable, resilient, and driven in your pursuit of emotional intelligence. This mindset will empower you to embrace challenges, learn from your experiences, and ultimately, realize your full emotional potential. And there you have it, folks. 10 Powerful Steps to Supercharge Your Emotional Intelligence, Leading to Better Relationships, Improved Communication, and a More Fulfilling Life. Remember to like this video and share it with your friends, so they can benefit from these EQ-boosting tips as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications if you haven't already, so you never miss out on our amazing content. And, of course, leave us a comment down below telling us which of these tips you're most excited to try. Stay emotionally awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.